Hello everyone, this is Dr. Akshita Shanbhag. So today we will study how to estimate the gestational age and fetal weight. Gestational age is the fetal age. So how many weeks the fetus is present so that you are going to calculate in this. So this is done either by manual calculation or by ultrasonography. Before this, we will see how to calculate EDD that is expected date of delivery. We need to apply Nagel's rule here. So according to Nagel's rule, so we for the months we need to add plus 9 and for days we have to add plus 7. So this is based on LMP that is last menstrual period. So when a female come to you with her missed period, so we always ask what is her last menstrual period date. So according to that they calculate the EDD if the female is pregnant. Suppose LMP is 10 5 21. Then according to Nagel's rule as I said so for days you need to add plus 7 and for month you have to add plus 9 or minus 3. So EDD according to this rule will be 17 to 2022. So year of course when it goes to February next year. So you have to write the year 2022. So another example we will take. Suppose LMP is 28 to 2021. So can you guess what will be the EDD for this date? Yes I hope all of you have got. So EDD here will be 7, 11, 20, 21. So what I have done here is for 28 we have added plus 7. So and as we know so in February month there will be 28 days. So you when you add plus 7 so it goes to the next month that is 7 itself. Then we have to add for the month plus 9 so it will be 11. And year of course if it is November so it will be within the same year that is 2021. So this will be your EDD. So now we will see how to calculate the gestational age. So here in the diagram in the picture as you can see. So this is the fundal height. This is how the measurement is done of the fundal height. So here according to the McDonald's rule. We, we can calculate the duration of pregnancy in lunar months. How many months the female is pregnant is the fetus. So here we need to know the uh, height of the fundus. You have to multiply it by 2 and divide by 7 centimeters. If we want to calculate the duration of pregnancy in weeks then height of fundus into 8 divided by 7 centimeters. So for example, if height of fundus is 20 centimeters, then the duration of pregnancy in lunar month will be 20 into 2 divided by 7. So it will be 5 months and 5 days. If the same, if you are going to calculate in weeks, so the duration of pregnancy in weeks will be 20 into 8 divided by 7. So it will be 22 weeks, 6 days. So this will be the McDonald's rule. So now we will see gestational age calculation by ultrasonography. So by scanning what we say. So in first trimester we need to know the crown rump length of the fetus. So I uh, will show you the picture in the next slide. So then it, this, this calculation will be more accurate. First trimester is the first 3 months. First 3 months calculation can be done just based on the crown rump length. So here the variation whatever we get could be plus or minus 5 days. Second trimester is from the 4, 5, 6 months. So in the second trimester if scanning is done then we need to know about the biparietal diameter then head circumference, abdominal circumference and femur length of the fetus of the fetus in the scanning it is being calculated. So this calculation also will be more accurate when it is done between 12 and 20 weeks. So the variation will be plus or minus 8 days. 
but third trimester that is 7 8 9 months if scanning is done and gestational age you want to calculate it could be less reliable it is not that accurate you get so variation could be plus or minus 16 days so always usually we calculate gestational age in the first and the second trimester now as you can see in this diagram in the picture so one is the scanning report so where you can see the crl how it is done so this is how the uh, uh, crown rump length is from head to toe okay this is how the calculation is done crl so measurement of uh, crl at 7 weeks so by 7 weeks it should be 10 mm so that is 1 centimeters then by 10 weeks it should reach 34 mm this is the approximate calculation and optimum should be there so if crl is uh, we put it in centimeters and add 6.5 we get weeks in gestation gestation is the pregnancy what we say so weeks in gestation we can calculate so for example if crl is 20 mm or 2 centimeters because for this calculation we require in centimeters so instead of mm we convert it into centimeters so then the weeks in gestation will be 2 plus 6.5 that is 8.5 weeks so this is very easy to calculate the weeks if we know the crl so crl if it is 10 mm or 1 centimeter so naturally the weeks in gestation will be 1 plus 6.5 that is 7.5 weeks So in clinical practice whenever there is difference in gestational age between the LMP calculation and CRL calculation less than 10 days then the EDD derived from the LMP is confirmed. When the difference is more then the EDD should be based on ultrasonographic fetal geometry. So only you have to see the difference if it is 10 days less so then it will the EDD whatever you calculate manually with LMP that will be confirmed. So gestational age in first trimester by ultra uh, transvaginal ultrasonography. So fifth week always when a lady is pregnant so in scanning you get to know the gestational sac only by fifth week. So only by fifth week the pregnancy will be confirmed. Then sixth week fetal pole and the cardiac activity, heart activity will start. Then seventh week embryonic movements will be observed. Then by seven to twelve weeks we can measure the CRL that is crown drum length. Then fetal heart rate will be calculated can be uh, measured by tenth week. So then coming to the estimation of fetal weight till now we have understood the gestational age calculation now we will see fetal weight how to calculate. So there is a formula called as Johnson's formula we need to apply this formula to know the fetal weight. So weight in grams so if we want to know the weight in grams so this is symphysis fundal height SFH is symphysis fundal height what I had shown you the picture previously to calculate so similarly the measurement is done symphysis fundal height is taken minus 12 into 155 is done if vertex is above ischial spines then if weight in grams if the vertex is below ischial spines you have to do SFH minus 11 into 155 so for example if SFH is 32 centimeters, centimeters so the station of the head will be minus 2 so minus 2 is always above the ischial spines so you need to calculate here is 32 minus 12 into 155 so the weight of the fetus will be 3100 grams so is if the SFH is 32 centimeters similarly and the station of the head is plus 2 plus 2 will be below the ischial spines. So the formula you want to put here is minus 11. 
so the weight of the fetus will be 32 minus 11 into 155 that will be 3255 grams this is the johnson's formula we need to apply for the fetal weight so there are other two formulas but not in use much so directly the weight will come in the ultrasonography we don't calculate it so johnson's formula uh, formula can be calculated manually also so i hope you have understood how to calculate gestational age and fetal weight and it has helped you thank you